So, let's take a blast to the past, to 2022, the good old days of why I want Season 5. Because in this series of videos, not only did we talk about some of the guys that inevitably became some of our favorite prospects today, we had discussed Lane Hudson two years ago. Oh, I did not want to click on the video, that is, uh, nope, 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 get out of that. We also talked about Jonathan LeCaramaki, the Vancouver Canucks guy. We talked about Elias Pedersen, which ended up also becoming a Canucks guy. Surprise, surprise, go figure. But one of our videos went over a guy that at the time was seen as a little bit of a big value pickup. Rutger McGroarty, ladies and gentlemen, was a guy that was supposed to be taken somewhere in the top five, but eventually slipped out of those spots in the draft rankings as the 21-22 season went on. The Winnipeg Jets inevitably took Rutger McGroarty with the 14th overall pick, and it was seen by a lot of people, myself included, as a pretty big steal. Now, Rutger McGroarty is 20 years old, 6'1", 205, left-handed center-left wing player, and where most players outrace, he delays with a cutback or simply entering a glide and angling away from back pressure. Those delays house his playmaking, where he's deceptive, precise, and identifying of the best play. Rutger McGroarty is a player who uses give-and-goes instead of deking and consistently occupies the space that maximizes his odds of getting the puck back. He's a bull, too. Relentlessly attacks the inside, combining skills and physicality. This was a guy who, back in 21-22, had 69 points and 35 goals in 54 games played, but ever since then, he had himself a stellar run with the University of Michigan Wolverines. He was a point-per-game freshman, 39 points, 39 games. Also was a point-per-game at the World Junior, 7.7 7 games. This year, he absolutely exploded even further with 52 points in 36 games played, 16 goals too. Not to mention the fact that he was the captain for Team USA at this year's World Junior Tourney. Nine goals, or excuse me, nine points. Nine goals would have been incredible, but nine points in seven games, five goals on top of that too. And if you scroll down to McGroarty and his accomplishments, I mean, the guy kind of did it all, right? He had the bronze medal at the World Juniors last year. He had the gold medal at this previous year's World Juniors. He was a Hobie Baker nominee. He also was on the first All-Star team for the Big Ten. He was everywhere. And right now I'm noticing that our Why I Want video actually is on the video section on Elite Prospects. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. It makes my imposter syndrome reduce itself a little bit more. Man, that is so great. All of these people are such amazing content creators. To be included in that pack is quite the honor. But the reason we are talking about Rector McGroarty today, and the reason his name is the number one trending name on Elite Prospects, is because of what Elliot Friedman said on today's 32 Thoughts podcast. Friedman on Rector McGroarty said, I've heard his name come up in trade discussions, that the Jets have discussed trading, and other teams have discussed acquiring his rights. And not only has it been Elliot Friedman to go out there and say this, let's go over onto Instagram, because Puck Report NHL had a really good summary of all the other comments made by different NHL people in regards to McGroarty. Actually, let's see if we can zoom in. How does that look? Uh, that's okay. All right, this is some of the other stuff that was talked about. So first, per Elliot Friedman on the 32 Thoughts podcast, Rucker McGroarty's name has come up in trade talks while the Jets have discussed trading him and other teams have discussed acquiring his rights. Per Murat Ates of The Athletic, that report is true, and it was told by sources this afternoon that the player is likely to be traded, perhaps even before the draft. McGroarty, drafted 14th overall in 2022 by Winnipeg, no longer believes his long-term future is with the team due to a disconnect in views between how the team's development staff planned his future and the player's view of his own future. His desire to play in the NHL, with the club unwilling to promise a path to playing time, played a big role in his decision to remain with Michigan in the NCAA for now, instead of signing a pro contract in April. The 20-year-old had 52 points in 36 games played for Michigan this previous season. And the top comment says, yeah, it's crazy how prospects can choose where they want to be now. Honestly, that's always been the case for NCAA talent. It's just kind of rare to see players that are first round caliber guys actually exploring that route. Like normally I'd say for guys that go the NCAA route and decide to go the entire full four years and then they become a free agent, 
those guys are normally like third round picks plus. It's rarely the first round guys that exercise that right. But if you go over to Elite Prospects, it does say here that McGrory will spend 24-25 with Michigan, despite the fact that he had such an amazing season this year with the Wolverines already. You can say that any 20-year-old, 19, 20-year-old, excuse me, he had recently just turned 20, anybody who's a teenager putting up this amount of points in the NCAA is probably NHL ready. So if the Winnipeg Jets don't see that out of him, if they don't want to use him in their plans, then McGrory does have the right to go out there and say, hey, sorry. Like, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to sign. I'm not going to fill out your roster with the Manitoba Moose. I want an NHL job. If the team and the player cannot agree, then okay, he's entering trade rumors. And we have reports like these coming out here from both Elliot Friedman and Murat of The Athletic. Furthermore, you had yourselves Cam Robinson go out there and say this, I knew something was fishy when Rutger McGroarty decided to go back to Michigan for a third season. He's clearly ready to come out. If he's dealt, some team is getting a real asset on the ice and in the room. The kid is a serious leader. First reply by T-Dubs goes out there and asks, Is it being reported that Rutger wants to be traded or that he's being shopped by the Jets? This is huge for season ticket holders. Now rookies don't want to play here. Let's just say that if the Jets are bringing him up in trade talks as reported, then it's very likely because the player isn't happy. Or they have a great core at forward, want to solidify D, and McGordy has enough value? That's always a possibility, too. There also was a question, hey, what's the context here? Did you hear something? Do you know something? It's being reported his name is out there in trade talks. I haven't watched much of him at all since his draft year. Has his skating improved? It's improved, yes. He's not fleet of foot, though, still. Either way, there's a really good player profile here in Rutger McGroarty, somebody that you should be keeping your eyes on. If I had to try and label it out myself, I'd say that McGroarty has 30 goal NHL potential. I'd say in a prime season, he might be able to get, let's say, 30 goals, 70 points. But this is the kind of guy that at this young of an age, the fact that he's able to produce like this already in the NCAA, for crying out loud, is a really big deal, and I don't think you should be taking that lightly. The Winnipeg Jets have a superstar stud prospect on their hands, and if it's true that he wants out and that they're shopping him out because of it, then whatever team goes out there and trades for McGroarty, yeah, you're getting a good one. In fact, if you really want to know what's happening, just go watch the Why I Want video from two years ago. It's still up here on YouTube. Ah, the glory days of Why I Want, back when prospect coverage was simple and not as intricate as it is today. I don't want to go out there and make a rant on why I want videos not doing as well as they used to, but let's just say my role in this position is no longer needed. There are a lot of other players in the YouTube scene that make fantastic, better videos than I do, so this one, it'll still exist on the internet for those who want to see, but if you need to check out the scouting report of McCordy, it's all there on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about this first round prospect, this elite prospect potentially wanting out of the Winnipeg Jets system. And the fact is, according to Friedman, his name is being tossed out there in trade talks. Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Rash Roll 99. And bye.